with with the love of a devotee how krishna is accepting the bondage in mathura it's a ishwarya prem but in ishwarya mood krishna cannot be tied by the devotee but in the the the, the prem that the brajvasis have that krishna gets bounded with them in vaikuntha ayodhya or mathura vasis he is not he cannot be tied the, the devotees in vaikuntha and mathura they have bhagavata buddhi that they they think that uh, krishna is bhagwan wherever wherever in the bhaktas uh, heart that he is a, he, he he has intelligence that that krishna is the supreme personality of god as bhagwan to win to to what is how can you win bhagwan you have to have a good relationship you have to have a relationship with bhagwan you have to have lokit for example we are living in our family life and we are living with our parents mother and father and similarly in the vrajvasi they they believe that krishna is part of the family part of their family they don't believe that krishna is bhagwan is the kare ye is prakar krishna gokul vasiyon ki anek prakar balin aadi ke dwara he did many leelas in the gokul anand samudra mein he dubate rahe and he he was he all the bourgeois were so absorbed and with so much anand in the in his leela and every day he was just manifesting new and new leelas it's not only one leela there are many leela in every universe universe in ananta brahman he is doing many many leelas this krishna's leela it's it's a lava chakra means like it's it's like a, a a stick that you got a flame at the end and then you are moving this moving the stick around round and round and then what do you see you see a one full circle so similarly the leelas krishna's leelas are are so similarly the krishna's leela are going on like this like a circle in many many universes so this leelas are manifested in many many universes for example let's say there is a janam leela in one brahman in the other other universe brahman there is a putna leela going on but these leelas are at the same time going on then trinavat leela sakata sur leela so similarly many many different leelas are similarly at the same time simultaneously going in from one universe around to the to many universes kuch leela aap jo kahe hain kai wohi leela hogi ki dusre leela to uske kahte hain so kuch leela jo hai wohi so this is called some leelas zaruri nahi hai so the so leelas are uh, happening but it's not necessary that that particular leela has to take place so for example in this brahmand kisi brahmand mein kisi ke putra avad leela chal rahi hai the birth leela is taking and then in another brahmand maybe putra leela is taking place and then maybe in another brahmand it's agasur leela is taking place So, so similarly this leelas different leelas are going on at the same time 
but in different brahmand krishna's and mahaprabhu's leela it's 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 happening the leelas are happening in different brahmand not everyone can see this leelas when the sal sadak reaches the bow stage in that bow stage in that bow stage in the devotee who's reached a bow stage in his heart these leelas can be manifested and he can see these leelas happening So Govinda has many different leelas. In Shrimad Bhagavatam, it's mentioned, it's not described, not all leelas are described. Mankuri, the, the two, the, yeah. Like the fruit seller who resided in Mathura. She was going from door to door selling fruit. And sometimes where did she go from Mathura? She used to go to Vrindavan to sell fruits. Mathura is one. Mathura is like a king. You know the place where the kingdom, king is, uh, the the king's palace is, and the village like uh, Vrindavan is more like a village. So there is some difference between the city and the village. But the, this fruit seller who was staying in Mathura, she used to take the fruit from the city, from her, from Mathura. She used to go into the village. It's like some people buy things from the city, and then they open a small shop in the village, and then they sell things in the in the streets of village. So similarly, just like this fruit seller, she used to. She used to sell the, take the fruits from Mathura and sell it in the village. So when she was selling the fruits in Vrindavan, sometimes she was listening to Krishna's uh, glorification from the Vrajvasis. Like Gopal has uh, such a beautiful, uh, like the villagers, the lady, vil- the, the ladies of the village were discussing about how beautiful Krishna is and how beautiful Gopal is. So this fruit seller used to listen to that. Some, sometimes it's the nature of the ladies is like they, they will always. The nature of the ladies is. If they've heard a katha from somebody, somebody, then they will speak back again. They will always repeat it. They can never keep it to themselves. Yes. And so when she used to go to the Vrindavan, so she used to hear. She used to hear. She used to hear the glorification of Gopal. But the be- everybody seen, everybody seen, everybody seen a small child, you know, baby. But uh, but Gopal's uh, when he, he was very special, he was very special. Like he had very nice curly hair and he had long eyes. He had lovely lips. Yeah. But, but his body, he had his body, his jyoti, you know, like a light illuminating, a frag, um, illumination from his body was emanating. His hands and feet were say so like the palm of our hand his hands palm palms were red you know the simple person's hands palms are not that red then the soul the soul of the feet even the soul of his feet was so red and they were very soft 
his body was so beautiful. Well, how can I describe? So that's why the ladies of the village, they came to the fruit sellers and they used to buy some fruit and then at the same time they used to discuss about the about Nandalala. In Sastras it's mentioned when the Bal Gopal took birth in Gokul, in Nanda Gokul, in Mother Jashoda, from the womb of Mother Jashoda, and all the Brajwasis, they came to see Gopal. So since morning, there was a mela, like there was just people were coming in and going. They all since morning, everyone was coming to see Gopal, and some were coming to see Gopal, and then they were after seeing Gopal, they were going back, and they were saying, "Oh, please show us Gopal." You say so. So, and they they were glorifying Gopal so much that they couldn't speak anymore. And they said, oh, can you please tell us how did you see Gopal? How, can you describe how Gopal is? And because they, 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 their throat was choked and they could not describe Gopal's. Uh, the first time when they saw, saw Gopal, then the second, the second when second person saw Gopal, he couldn't describe. And then the third person, if he had the son of Gopal, he fainted. In Sastra, it's mentioned to just they, they used to come and take darshan of Gopal, but when they had darshan and they were returning back, then they used to somebody would ask them and say, "Oh, please, can you mention? Can you can you please describe how Gopal looks like?" So they said, "Oh, the other people used to say, 'Oh, we've heard that the Gopal is so beautiful. Nandalala's son, Gopal is so beautiful. Please, can you describe us?'" But they they couldn't describe. They, they had, the throat was choked. So similarly, this fruit lady, fruit seller, when she was selling the fruits to the ladies of Vraj, of Raj, and she was hearing, she was hearing all these ladies of the village, uh, how they were describing the form of Gopal. So she felt she was so deep that I want to have a darshan of Gopal. I hear so much, I hear so much, and my heart is melting that I have to have darshan of Gopal. So even in a village, a beautiful baby takes birth, then what happens? Everybody in the village wants to, they are eager to see the baby. Go, uh, like. They, you know, if the, the if the child is born and they said, "Oh, the ears are like Gopal," like they are so eager. Oh, let's go and see what this baby looks like. So similarly, in Vraj, all these villagers, uh, the residents of the Vraj, they were coming and going to see Gopal. Even from the heavenly planets, all the demigods and uh, demigods and demigoddesses. And in, they were taken uh, in the form of a human body and they used to come to take darshan of Gopal. So this fruit seller, so she heard from the Rajvasis, uh, ladies of the Raj, that how beautiful this Gopal is. So she was so eager, she just was determined that she wanted to take darshan of Gopal. So, so she was wandering around uh, near the lane, near the streets around uh, Nanda Baba's house. And she started to sell fruit, buy fruit, buy banana. So like that, she was sh shouting and, and speaking very loudly, actually not shouting, speaking very loudly uh, to say, oh, does anybody want to buy fruit? Today, Govinda also had Icha, desire. So even Bhagwan knew that uh, this uh, fruit seller, she is uh, so eager to have my darshan. But who can Bhagwan? Who does Bhagwan give to darshan to? When somebody is so eager to have darshan, one is Abhayesh. There's two things. 
Bhagwan can give us darshan when we have enthusiasm, determination, utkanta. What is it? Enthusiasm that we are so eager that we will not be able to live without the darshan. Sas, we are breathing. We cannot live without taking a breath, right? So we have to continue breathe, yes. So, if, let's say if you stop breathing, then what happens? Then we cannot live. We are like we are dying to uh, grasp a breath of air. So similar like in Govinda, if we have the Uttarankanta, like so much eagerness in our heart to have darshan of Krishna that without the darshan I will not be able to live. She's, so she said, so, so, so Guru said, so these two, the Shishya and Guru, they were having snan in, uh, in the river. So what did the Guru do with the Shishya? He got hold of his head and he pushed it inside the uh, river. Two minutes, he was, his head was underneath the river, underneath the water. And then suddenly he pulled him up. Gurudev, Shishya, Gurudev asked Shishya, the disciple, when I, when I drowned you, under, under, when I pushed your head under the water, then what were you thinking? Were you thinking of anything? He said, Gurudev, I was only thinking of one thing. That I was just saying, how can I get my breath? How can I get, get air? How can I breathe? I had no other thing, other thoughts in my mind. But without Bhagwan's darshan, if we cannot live, you have one thing in your mind that when, when, when we like get darshan of Bhagwan. Vitrasur is praying. This, like the baby birds, they are in the nest. You know, they are sitting in the nest and they are saying chi chi chi, and the mother mother bird has gone somewhere, and the mother bird has gone somewhere. She's gone to get some seeds. Then these baby birds are baby birds are saying chi chi chi. They are saying for two reasons. One is that they are hungry. They are, the second is they are, that they, they are, the other birds don't come and kill them. So, so this baby bird he's thinking of the mother. When when will my mother come and feed me? So the baby bird is so absorbed in his thoughts that when will my mother come and feed me? So like in the evening when they are when you are milking the cow, what happens to the calf? You let the you you, you, you keep the calf distance from the cow and when you are milking milking the cow, and then what is happening to the calf? He's saying, oh, when will the master? release my cow and I go to, uh, eagerly so she's, the calf is so like eager to go uh, go and uh, take milk from uh, the mother's udders beloved beloved and the two beloved two lovers they have so much like eagerness when are they going to meet when are they going to meet but nobody can really understand and the lover, the two lovers, how, how much, enthu, how much enthusiasm, how much eagerness she has that when will I meet my lover? And she's just at that time, when will I? So her mind is only thinking, when will I? When will I meet my beloved? The lady, she is, she is in love with another man. 
She is showing others. She is not. She is showing to the others that husband, neighbor, uh, in-laws. She doesn't show her. Like she is really, she is doing the household duties and with her family also she is behaving very well. But her mind, but she has got She's working properly at home. Men, uh, she's working really nicely, but her mind is always on a lover. At night, when everybody goes to sleep, even the mother-in-law, the uh, the daughter, sister-in-law, and it's, uh, everybody's gone to sleep. And at night, what happens? Slowly, she opens the door and comes out, and she meets her lover. And just before everybody gets up in the morning, she she quietly comes in and returns home and goes to sleep on her bed. So this is how much Uttrikanta. What I'm trying to tell you is that how eager she is to meet her lover. What I'm... Sorry, we have a net problem. Hmm? I think they have got net problem. Hmm. What I'm trying to say, the Acharyas are saying, in the Tika, this one, this one, this one, this one, Mother is. It's at night time. At night she leaves and then she meets her beloved. She, before everyone gets up, she returns back in the morning and goes to sleep on her bed. So, I think they've got problem with the net. Sorry about that. So this is how much she's eager to meet her beloved. What is this? The Acharyas are saying in Tika. When when we will get darshan of Bhagwan? When will we attain Bhagwan? Oh, sorry, I think they, mm, that when we have that eager eagerness. So similarly, this fruit seller, she had so much eagerness to have darshan of Gopal. That how, when, when will I darshan of Gopal? I have heard so much about him. I have heard so much glorification of Gopal. I have heard it from the ladies of the Gokul. I have heard from the la mouth of the ladies of the Gokul. Like the calves. When the oh. 
So these ladies, oh, um, what about your net? Is your net working? Ma, so all these ladies, these ladies used to come to the house of uh, Nand Baba's, uh, uh, Jashoda's house, and say, Gopal, do one thing. You play here. Today, Gopal is not restless today. Today, Gopal is alone. You know, like in the villages, you know, like the ground, the grains or the, uh, the grains of wheat are lying down on the ground. So like that, my mother Jashoda put, uh, she had grains on the floor. So what did Jashu, uh, Gopal do? You know, like, like you know, with the with the sand, we make something like a house or something like that. So what Gopal is doing with these grains, you know, the wheat, the wheat, the wheat that's on the ground, on the ground, he's kind of making a house with it, like Brahma creates. Can you can you give me that one? That one? So, so. This fruit seller, the fruit seller came near the house of Gopal and said, so when, the, uh, when Gopal saw this beautiful fruit in the basket of these fruit sellers, she Yeah, so the, the servants, uh, the Jashoda said to the servants and said, Gopal, look after Gopal that he doesn't go outside. And there is nobody around. You know what happened? There was nobody around. So the maid servant of the mother Jashoda, she started to think, today Gopal is very quiet. So what she did? And she got absorbed in uh, discussing about Gopal's Leela. And Gopal saw, she's the maid servant. Today, she's, she's so absorbed in the Katha with other ladies. That's why Gopal, without taking permission, And Mother Jashoda said, today, don't go outside the door. And also, Ma, and the, and the Ma Jashoda also instructed the maid servant that look after my son. Don't let him go out. But what did Gopal do? He disobeyed the mother's uh, order. And so, that fruit seller, she had a beautiful, very, very sweet fruit in a basket, very fragrant uh, fruit. And the Bala, Gopal saw it, and he had, uh, uh, when he came out, the, uh, the, the fruit seller kind of waved at him, and kind of called him with her hand, and then she had a darshan of Gopal. T today, is, this is the first time she had darshan of Gopal. And Gopal went there slowly and said, Oh, please, can you give me fruit? The fruit seller said, I sell this fruit and this is my livelihood. This is how I live. 
you will give me money? Then, so Gopal said, I don't have any money. So she said, how can I give you fruit then? What was in Gopal's mind? You, the fruit seller said, oh, you are a young babe, young child. You will forget. And no, Sabala said, no, I'll give it to you next time. Uh, I'll give you next time. So the fruit seller says, Are you are a balak, you are a child. How You'll forget next time. And what is the mind of a child? Child is not always restless. And Gopal said, no, I will never forget. I don't forget. How can Gopal forget? Gopal is saying, Hey, fruit seller, I promise you, if somebody gives me something, little, I don't forget. Even look at Sudama's Vipra's Katha. What did he give? What did he give Krishna, Sudama? He had a churva, you know, the flat rice. And that also he didn't really want to give it to Krishna. And Krishna actually forcefully took it from him. And that time Rukmani Devi got hold of his hand. It's similar. That is also Leela. Krishna is thinking of this Leela, that Leela, Sudama Leela, and is speaking that whoever gives me even little, I accept and I never forget. It's Bhagwan. Flat rice. Oh, Sika, sorry. Even if he uh, offer one coin, The fruit seller said, No, no, you will forget me tomorrow. Then the, the Gopal thought, Ah, uh-huh, there's some grains and chawal, you know, the rice and wheat uh, uh, grains are here. So, what he did was, he with his own palms, with his small palms, he, he got, so, uh, he, he got uh, the grains of wheat. And his, where was his mind? So, his mind, his eyes were on the fruit. So, whatever he collected, the grains and the wheat, and you know, like they started to drop off from his little arms between his toe, between his fingers. What do we call Lakshmi, uh, the, the wheat and rice? Is we call them uh, Lakshmi. When the new crops come. What happens? This pujan, it's called? Today, there is Lakshmi. So first then they do Lakshmi pujan. There is also... Then the Lakshmi Devi comes. And she's... So every grain, the new grains that come, she makes a... Oh, she makes them nice mithai. So when the new grains come, like new harvested grains, they come in the house, it's like Lakshmi. This is how the villagers in the... I li- I've lived in the village, so I know. In the farm, this is, they harvest the grains. So when they... And, and four sides they put the manure around gober and they you know like with water they they like lap down then they make a shape of a, of the maps and they, some with small small like they make uh, feet of a uh, Lakshmi so like that you know like they decorate outside their house and then there's, there's a sign, they put like little shape of uh, lo- feet of uh, Lakshmi. That means that uh, Lakshmi has come into our house. That means a new harvest of grain and uh, rice are in our house. I said, hey Krishna, hey Govinda. Many life. T- you, you gave me a place. You have come to my uh, doorstep. So what did Gopal do? Then this, 
these uh, grains were dropping off from his hands, from his little arm, palms. Sorry, I think there's some net problem. It is, it is there, no? Yeah. This class has been broadcast from uh, Mathura, and we are in Govardhan. So it looks like, actually, the net here is okay, but it looks like the net in Mathura has got some problem. Yes, so these grains were dropping off from his uh, little palms, you know, like between the fingers. Yes, they were flowing, they were dropping on the ground, they didn't want to go. Their phone is working. You have who is giving this fruit? <laughs> what is it? There's a pujan like the worship. What is this? Give me a place after. There's many nice kirtans. Gopal doesn't. I am so sorry. The net is giving us so much problems. Actually, this problem is in Mathura, not at my end. Oh dear. Where is his mind? Gopal's mind is, his mind is absorbed with the fruit. Only one or two grains fell in the, in the basket. Oh, I really apologize. So most of the grains fell on the ground. It's there end or is it away end? I think the net here be, be it goes and it should be. Okay. But the Gopal thought, if I go back again and go and get more grains, then Jashoda will get, catch me. Okay, so there is a problem. I think there is a problem with the net. It's, uh, there is a problem with the Hindi translation as well. So, what? Okay. So, it, you know, like Gopal is talking with this such a beautiful, soft, uh, soft voice. Oh, 
what I will do is I will probably retranslate the whole class uh, when this class is recorded. It's just uh, we got bad internet reception. And and then she gave she gave all the fruit in Gopal's hand. Yeah, they've got internet that says bad internet reception. Then how did this all fruit come on his in his small palms? Yes, it looks like yes. Today there is some technical issues. Uh, so, so once it's recorded, what I'll do is I'll I'll translate the whole class again because it's just so it's so interrupting to listen to a class half and then <laughs> there is a net problem. So it's not a big thing like, you know, to this Gopal who is, he's holding the whole Brahman, the whole universe is under his hand. So it's not a big thing that two, or one or two fruits can come in his uh, palms. So what did Gopal do? So, so yes, what happened when this, uh, this uh, fruit seller, when she lifted the basket, you know, like she gave the fruits to Gopal, and when she lifted the basket, this thought the basket was very, she felt very heavy. The basket. Then by the Yamuna, when she went to Yamuna, she put the basket on the bank of Yamuna. She put the basket down from her head, of, from her head onto the ground. Of What she saw, what she saw in the basket was pearls and jewels and rubies. Many different types of uh, precious stones. In that basket, there are pearls and jewels. Bhagwan said, even Bhagwan said, even if somebody gives me little thing, yeah, I think I think it will be best if I really uh, translate the full class continuously because it's it's just interrupting so much because of some technical issues. Uh, so I cannot really follow. It's just this so much interpretation. Inter, 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 Interruption. Go. Okay, it's out.